Hello, in this video we're going to discuss how to use Style Builder inside Autofill, how it works, how to edit presets and how to create your own style. Let's begin. Let's use this logo, let's apply Autofill from Plugin Everything, that's it, it works. Now let's go to Style Builder and before applying any presets, let's press Preset Viewer. Here we go, and here you can see a lot of different presets. You can preview how they look before applying them. Let's choose Screen Gradient right now. Remember its name? Open After Effect and use Screen Gradient. And that's it. Turn off Preview Input, and it works. Now, let's discuss all the parameters here and how Style Builder actually works. Now, preset viewer, we discussed it, apply preset, duration. Duration is basically the size of your effect, how long style should be. Let's open another preset called fire. And let's make, for example, your logo is really, really fast and you want it to fill almost instantly. You can see that it's not something that we want, right? Then with duration, you actually could Re like return it to back to normal or you know maybe you want to make it even bigger that's what duration does next repeat you can create simple setup okay let's make it back to normal you can create pretty s simple setup with not so many layers one or two layers or basically screen gradient let's use that which is to be honest only one layer this is original one gradient layer but with repeat you can repeat it three times and voila this is how it looks if you don't like some anti-aliasing problems just turn on apply screen space aa and now everything is smooth this is repeat now composite over original some Presets called Reveal. They always have a layer called Original, which is basically your original input. But Wave, it's independent waves. Let's use uh, Sound Waves. You see, it's just out to fill style builder effects without logo itself. Why? Because you can. Where is it? Sorry. You can copy your logo and apply this effect using add or any other effect or use glow on top of outer fill and then apply it as an add or use setup of multiple outer fills one outer fill revealing logo another outer fill for style builder from different direction well for example so this is waves let's turn them on sound waves ah sorry yeah sound waves but we can use your input logo as as a background basically as a static background sometimes it's something you need if you don't want to reveal but you just want to send some kind of wave uh maybe to highlight ears or overall create overall animate your asset without actually destroying it only to reveal it you can have gradient effects like that next layer selector let's again turn on screen gradient so layer selector is way to control your outer fill for example here you can see we have original layer let's make it a bit cleaner and here also and we have gradient if we will put gradient on top and then we will put gradient on top of the list but uh it will be actually at the bottom and this your original layer will be applied on your gradient that's why we don't see it yet right now but you can change order even if it feels like it's something wrong this is a great illustration what normally happens for example, you did pretty cool gradient, right? You like it, it's cool, but then you forgot. Oh my God, I forgot my original logo. You can turn on your layer with original logo and just move it below your gradient. 
So basically, this is layer selector, this is arrows, and you can move and change orders of your layers. And let's discuss now how each layer works. This is on off, this is showing order, and what is it start and end? Actually, when you move this parameter, you cutting the beginning of your layer, and when you moving end, as soon as it, uh, how would say, less than 100%, it going to cut everything. So it's percents of the whole duration. Why is like that? Why it's in percents? Because it's kind of cool if you have a lot of styles, a lot of layers. Well, again, like, uh, let's magic fire right? You can edit size of all layers with only one duration. And because they are in percents, we can make it really, really big. You see? That's why they are in percents. Let's get back to reset. Let's use one color. And just for experiment, let's create some co uh, two colors, but three stripes. Let's turn on second layer. Let's use color. And now we remember that this is red. This is also red. We will change it to some kind of blue. And right now you will see what's going on. When you make make it start a bit later we can see layer below we can trim start and bam we have two colors three stripes and that's it and again what we did you see again we forgot to put our original logo behind of it we're going to use layer and now we're going to discuss mode here is gradient color and original we're using original, but we can't see anything. Then we're moving this below everything. So here it is. Sometimes in some situations, um, if you have something complex, I advise you to do ah, no 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 to trim a start a bit because if it will be can we see it? No. But in general, if you will see in the future some kind of fridging, especially with uh, when you're trying to reveal photos, just trim the start a bit. That happens because uh, you can see a little bit of your initial logo behind all the layers because they all exactly one on top of another. And on the edges, there could happen some fringes. So... That's it. This is how start and works, and this is how you can use it. Oh, by the way, this is also a great opportunity for us to show how repeater works. Repeater, well, basically repeating your layers. Uh, for example, looped gradients. Looped gradients already in a preset have 50 repeats. If we will do one repeat, we will see only all the layers, all the gradients over here that were used. And we can create only three. Like it's not always only looped or one. You can do, let's fill our logo. You see? And now we have in animation. It going to be animated for some time, and then there is an out animation. So not only reveal, but also destroy. <laughs> Next, let's discuss and actually dive deeper into the each of the gradient modes, shall we? Let's create gradient. This is a gradient. Gradient have three modes, trail, edge, and fit. If we will do something short like that, fit mode does, um, it fits 
all the colors of gradient widgets inside your uh, inside your limits that you specified in start and end. While if you will use trail, it will use only it will use full duration first. It will use full duration of your uh, style builder, but also it will be cut it based on your start end of each layer. You see? And we also have age effect, which is pretty cool. It allows you, and this is like personally my favorite way to use it. Let's create something really complex. And it allows you to create gradients in, well, almost new way, I guess. Because sometimes you really need mesh gradient or four color gradient or some kind of complex gradient. With that, with age, you see that gradient is not moving. So you have static gradient and you can also move your layer on the left like that. And that's it. Your logo already filled and this is your static colorful gradient that filling with colors based on the shape of your asset which is pretty cool now let's discuss gradient opacity parameter this <clears throat> this thing actually helps you to do well opacity you can make you can do like that or you have to select this point, then you can edit its opacity. It's by the way we're used, you see, in a, in a screen gradient preset, when it's not so transparent, then it goes more and more and more transparent. Okay, we've discussed now what is it style builder how it works in a high level then we discussed what is it layers correct correct now we're going to discuss some settings grow and shrink makes your border stronger or weaker or smaller this is overlay mode same as after effect overlay opacity now okay let's get back to add Ooh, yeah, with add is much better. Um, overlay opacity, blur. With blur, you can create glow. So you can use this gradient for creating glow that not just round blurred circle, but blur with gradient and create another another layer with sharp gradient and everything will be inside auto fill without multiple multiple effects by the way with a little bit of blur and with displacement you see we're already creating some kind of mist or some kind of energy Ooh, look at that It's really fun to play with all that effect. And keep in mind, I'm working only with one layer. Imagine what you can do if there is multiple different levels, one uh, layers, one on top of another. Glow, it's a great example of using multiple layers just for creating beautiful blur. Uh, bl 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 using blur, creating beautiful glow. So here, you see, start and end 10%. So it's pretty small thing, but it creates nice bright highlight. Then I have a again glow and another glow. Another bigger glow with one hue and another hue. And you can basically remove some of them. Uh maybe you can make it bigger or maybe you can you want to change colors because it's 
yes, presets, but it's ready to use presets, but it's also ready to edit presets. So don't be afraid to touch them, to move them. And if we destroyed our glow uh, preset, I will just apply it again and it's reset to default settings. So I guess that's it. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.